Hello everyone, this is a message from Christ to Gibraltarians as well as to those who have eyes to see. Gibraltarians have twice foolishly elected the atheist Fabian Picardo as chief minister. Thus, a person who is completely unspiritual and does not believe God. He believes only in materialism and what his human eyes can see. Matthew 6.24 No man can serve two masters, for he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and materialism. The Agenda 21, 20, 30 that he is implementing is satanic, formulated by Satan, and being implemented worldwide by Satanists. It's an agenda that is fully supported by Fabian Picardo. He has put Gibraltar in danger not only of death from 4 and 5G, but of bankruptcy and foreclosure by the banksters from whom he has borrowed 300 million pounds and now wants to borrow a further 500 million pounds with you and your homes as security using coronavirus as his excuse. With a population of only 30,000 people, how could it ever be paid back? It cannot, so bankruptcy and losing your homes is inevitable. Do the maths and see what each and every single Gibraltarian owes to the banksters. You are in debt slavery. Electing an atheist who is implementing this satanic agenda has gotten you into this mess, and the only way to free yourselves is to defeat these Satanists with God on your side, helping and guiding you. However, he will not help you unless you turn to him in repentance for not keeping his covenants containing his law that he commanded you to learn and teach to your children. Second Chronicles 7.14 If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. He brought your ancestors out of 400 years of slavery under the rule of men in Egypt and gave you freedom and his perfect law of liberty under him to prevent you from being enslaved ever again. However, you allowed people to legislate instead and ended up in slavery again in Assyria and Babylon, from which he saved you again, but still you did not learn. Those who do not learn these lessons from history are doomed to repeat them. They, the hierarchy enslaving you, are stripping you of more and more of your God-given rights and imprisoning you in your own homes with the national lockdown, which is a term used officially by prisons to prevent the prisoners from getting together and rebelling, exactly as they, the hierarchy enslaving you, are doing to you to stop you from getting together to march on Parliament. If you want to become totally enslaved, keep allowing the politicians, politics, many blood-sucking parasites, to legislate away your freedoms until you have none or are dead. If you want freedom and life, sign the petition and demand the return to God's perfect royal law of liberty. Study and learn it and teach it to your children. I've been warning you for decades in this lifetime and, in reality, for millennia. If you want my help, then stop ignoring me and stop listening to liars instead of me. Peace be upon you, Christ. All links will be below the video.